I have no brakes. Let's fix that. Thought it'd be cool to see me like riding into the shop and like having difficulty braking. Uh, yeah, I panicked and whiskey throttled it. Uh, smashed it into my uh, trash can over there and spilt my spilt my drink all over the floor and now how I wanted it to go. But anyways, I don't have brakes. I thought I had a little bit uh, rear with the uh, cable, but nope. Anyways, uh, we're back on the 1998 Honda 4 Trax 300 4x4. We put a timing chain in it last time you saw it. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, I don't know how to do links, so you're going to go have to look for it. It's like two videos from this one. Anyways, uh, we're going to fix the front brakes. I'm going to show you um, why they don't work. <clears throat> And then we are going to do the front brake disc conversion kit on this bad right, so girl. First things first, right? You got to take off the uh, the tire. Um, they should be 17 millimeters. I don't know what you got. Take off your tire. So then you're going to want to take off your drum. And you might have uh, set screws still in yours. Might have to give her a little love tap. Be careful though. These are cast and you might break it. Um, so... All right, so that is why I don't have any brakes. Uh, I have no shoes, and then my uh, wheel cylinders are gone as well. So, um, I was able to get uh, fluid down to them, and then it all started pouring out. When I bought it, the guy said there's no pistons or anything. So when he said that, I was thinking that he must have meant calipers. Um, you know, this is 98, it shouldn't have drum brakes, in the front at least. Well, come to find out that Honda uses drum brakes into their newer utility stuff uh an 07 rancher that i have has the same exact thing so uh to buy everything for both sides it was 80 bucks and you know i just didn't want to mess with it so instead i went ahead and spent 225 dollars and bought a disc brake conversion kit it comes with everything that you should need uh I bought it off eBay. This is a, it's by Maddie, Matai. We're gonna go with Maddie. Uh, I'd show you the box. Yep. Maddie, Stable Power Sports Parts Maker. I don't know, I've never heard of them. But uh, it came, came in that box. Uh, I got this on a discount and I think it's a return or maybe the box is just real beat up. But it was $25 less than all the others, and the box is real beat up. So, but everything else looked good. So, I've never done this before. Um, so, we're going to kind of go through it together. All right. So, the, I'm going to have you guys uh, on front camera kind of flipped around just so I can make sure you're getting a good view here. Now, I'm literally going to be reading the instructions as we go. Um, on the instructions, you're going to want to disassemble everything. Uh, so pop off all your shoes, all your springs and stuff. Um, obviously, uh, your just isn't going to look like this. You're going to have some shoes. Pop those off. Um, and then remove your cotter pin to remove your nut out of there. Get you a 22. Zip that guy off. It felt like the sub just wanted to come off. Yep. And then the vacuum plate will be four 12 millimeters. Come on. Your brake hose off of it too. Oh. I'm gonna get a wire wheel and kind of clean that up too. You always want a clean mounting surface. Get all the surface rust off of there. It'll help everything tighten down real nice. Now I need the bracket. Uh -huh. All right, once you get that on there, get the bolts they tell you to. It's the ones that kind of have a angle to them, X head. Uh 
equipment I'm sure they want. They give you a bottle of Loctite. Actual Loctite too. Probably not a bad idea to put some on there. So for the hub, you actually do use the stock one. Uh, it looks a little different in, in at least the picture shown, but I'm sure it'll vary. Um, but you got to punch out the wheel studs. Just take your lug nut, put it on top, put a socket underneath of it, and give her a good whack. They'll pop, they'll pop out. All right, so then you take that stock wheel hub, take your rotor, your long bolts, put the bolt through the rotor, add a sleeve, your stock hub, and then the uh, wheel spacer, and then you want to tighten those down. It's be a 5 8 or at least mine is, is a 5 8 I put a little Loctite on there because the last thing you want are those coming loose. Take that guy, thread her on like so. Now we're getting somewhere. This is actually going by really fast, guys. I've probably only been at this. Uh, I mean, a little bit longer than the actual video is just because I've been getting out, getting tools, uh, rereading stuff. Okay. Then for your caliper, you want to make sure you get the right, the, the correct side uh, for each one. Your bleeder needs to be up. If it's down, you will never get them to bleed. And they give you your banjo bolts, so you no longer need that. Relocation bracket. What is the relocation bracket for? It's for the brake hose. Break the hose of your bike needs rerouting. I don't think that's going to come off there, boss. Well, it says that the uh, brake the hose needs rerouted, but on this four tracks, I don't think it does. Because it's not in the back of the control arm, like in the picture. So that must be to something else. This goes on nearly all Honda four-wheel drive bikes. So uh, I'm I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave mine the way it's at. You guys do what you want to do. I need to tighten down brake hose. Can't forget the castle nut. We've got 22 millimeters. German torque specs, Guten type. And then they even sent you with a new cotter pen. Like so. I mean, looks good. Has good quality. I like it. Uh, I'm gonna do the other side real quick and then I'll come back and uh, bleed it with you guys.
I made a mess and got a hand workout, but uh, that's a pretty firm brake break, uh, handle, brake lever. That's a pretty good brake right there. Uh, it took me a little while. The best thing that I found to do um, is to pump it up and then uh, open up both bleeders and then obviously close them and then release the handle. It'll probably work better if you have two people, but I did do it by myself. Uh, I do have it on a lift and that does make it a little easier. Um, I did have to readjust the brake lines, just loosen them up and pull them back a little bit just so I could get to that bleeder um, on both sides. But other than that, guys, like I said earlier, I think this is a very good, easy uh, thing to do, a good upgrade for your quad. Um, I'm sure this will increase the baking, braking percentage of a working system exponentially just because of how much better disc brakes break. Um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to throw the tires on and uh, probably test drive it tomorrow, which is now. Well, I did get her done, and she I was a little low. Need to up that idle a little bit, or she, I think she's about to die. But anyways, let's check out these uh, these brakes. Well, she doesn't exactly stop on a dime, but uh, I don't know if that master cylinder is good or not. It was bone dry when I picked it up, and I just can't. If you pump it up, it gets it gets tight. But as soon as I actually use it, I can feel it get squishy. Um, I had to drill that bolt out, and I got a little crooked with her, so I think I got to replace that. Um, but really, it breaks a hell of a lot better than what it did. Um, Still got to re put in a new light, but other than that, I think she's good to go. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching. I forgot to do an outro, so here you go. Hey.